Hey there, book enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, The Book Reporters, where we uncover hidden literary gems and explore captivating stories. Be sure to comment and subscribe below. Late in the night of October 23, 1731, a fire broke out in the apartments below the library of the appropriately named Ashpenham House. Ironically, this location had been chosen to store the Cotton Library collection of rare manuscripts after its previous home had been deemed too susceptible to fire. It was also the home of the Royal Collection of Manuscripts. At the time of the fire, the library contained two original copies of the Magna Carta, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, the Lindisfarne Gospels, and the only Beowulf manuscript in existence. Wellesley describes the frantic efforts to save as much as possible in difficult conditions. The books were locked in cases in a long, narrow room, with windows on each end through which the librarians began throwing the books. The early efforts were to preserve state papers, leaving the medieval manuscripts to burn longer. Water damage from the attempts to douse the flames was enormous. Hundreds of volumes were either totally destroyed or heavily spoiled. The next few days were spent gathering pages littering the yard, some of which still exist as unreadable clumps of refuse. Luckily, some of the texts which were destroyed, such as the life of Alfred the Great by the monk Asser, had been copied long before the fire. Other less famous texts in the same volume were not so lucky and were lost forever. The text of Beowulf, the greatest poem of the Anglo-Saxon era, was singed but not destroyed. It did not then have the reputation it has today, however, and it fell to a Danish scholar Grimer Thorkelin to commission two transcriptions of the text fifty years later preserving many words that are today unreadable in the Cotton Manuscript. Unfortunately for Thorkelin, his work was largely destroyed during the Napoleonic Wars when the British fleet bombarded Copenhagen in 1807 and destroyed his home. It took another eight years for him to finally produce the first printed edition of Beowulf, starting its journey to become a well-known classic of world literature. In a world of mass media, it is difficult today to conceive how a single accident could nearly wipe out so much important literature, but it has happened many times over the course of history. The fire became national news and led to legislation to properly preserve these priceless artifacts, leading eventually to the creation of the British Museum in 1753. Check out the full review on thebookreporters.com. Like and subscribe. Thank you.